Games are so fun. We love playing them, watching them, even creating them. So how can we bring games into your online classroom? Today, I'm gonna to show you five steps that you can take to help gamify your class to create that engaging atmosphere where students want to come back. So you as a teacher stand out. So step number one, know the objective of your class. I know this seems like it has nothing to do with games, but it is actually the most important. You need to know the goal for your class so you can base your game around that goal. This allows you to make sure your game is teaching or reviewing and supporting the content you're teaching and not just fluff that has nothing to do with your lesson. We are using games to teach. Step number two, become familiar with different sites and technology you can use to create games. This allows you to make a great decision on a game that is age appropriate, fits well with your subject, and one your students will enjoy. Sites for games um, include like Kahoot, Balookit, Google Slides, Gimkit, Canva, um, Nearpod. So be, and be sure to check out the description of this video where I linked videos below to show you how you can use all of those sites. Step number three, students love it when games have a theme. It makes it so much more fun and engaging when it's themed around things that interest them. And this allows you to, to use similar games over, over the same class. For example, a classic board game that um, was just brought to life with characters they love from video games, animals, they are into space, seasons, holidays, um, sports, dinosaurs. Know what your students like and theme your game based on that. Step four, mix it up how you play. Students can play on teams to earn points. They can all compete against each other. Student versus teacher or student and teacher can work together to try to beat the game. And I find that last one works really good well in a one-on-one -on -one class. Also mix up the question length. Some games are best when you need to know the answer quickly, like math facts, letter sounds, sight words, um, and Blue Kit, Kahoot, Gimkit are really good for those fast-paced games. You can practice with problems though that aren't fast-paced, so like word problems. Maybe they need a time to look up the answer. They're practicing reading their words, and we don't want a time pressure on them then games created with Canva or Google Slides or Nearpod are a really great option for that. Step five, change up the length of the game. You can play a quick game at the end of class to review just what you taught, or your game can take the entire class because you want to practice what you are learning with your students and practice in a fun way. So it's great when they haven't mastered the content yet. Gaming fine, your classroom is a great way to wow your students to keep them coming back to classes. I absolutely love using games in my classes. So these five steps that I shared will help you master gamification in your own classroom. And to help you get started, please check out my free game board template or my Jeopardy template linked down below. And I also have a video right here that I will show five games you can start using today. So thank you so much for watching this video and starting the process to gamifying your own classes. I'm so excited and I will see you in this next video and you can start gamifying your classroom today. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.